Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And from the scripture the Lord's giving me, I mean, I'm getting a lot of scriptures. Somebody out there is crying out. I don't know who you are, but God wants you to know he hears you cry. He knows what you're going through, and it's not to destroy you. If you would just humble yourself and acknowledge whatever God is showing you about yourself, make sure that you are as honest, transparent, and truthful as possible. The quicker you get to that point, the quicker you'll see what God's trying to show you about yourself, about your situation, about where he wants to take you and how he wants you to get there. You will be surprised as to God's healing power because he'll not only heal, he'll deliver. He'll uproot all of that hurt. He'll undo all the damage and he knows how to get you through. So don't sit there and think that because you're going through, you're going through this alone. You're not. God is with you. Emmanuel. He is with you. He is the good shepherd. He will leave the 90 and 9 to go and find that one little stray. You are not alone. God will do whatever. He'll pull out all stops to rescue you. So trust in his love for you. Trust in his concern. God knows the plans he has for you. He knows what he has to uproot out of you in order to get you ready for what he wants to place in you. And he can't place in you in a space that's taken up with something that's diametrically opposed. God is, he is a, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So seek him because as you seek him, your healing will come. As you seek him, your cleansing will come. As you seek him, deliverance will come. As you seek him, wholeness will come. And as you seek him, so will revelation. God will reveal to you the things that are hidden in darkness, the mysteries that pertain to your life, the mysteries that pertain to the kingdom and the things he wants you to learn. Just stay focused on him. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord, not from man, from the Lord. If man is there to help you, they're sent by God, not by man. Trust in God. He is your only hope. He is your only help. Yes, he will help you through mankind. But mankind is not your help. God is. Mankind is not the source. God is. Look to God. He will bring you out. He will bring you out. And as you draw closer to God, you will see more clearly what's really going on. How some of it may be an attack from the enemy. Some of it may be God teaching you something. God wants you to learn something. God wants to communicate something to you that he can only do through pictures. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to live through an ugly picture accompanied by an ugly experience. But God will bring you out. He won't leave you in. He'll bring you out. If you feel like you're deeply sunk in the miry clay, if you feel like you have been practically buried in a burial place, God will pull you out. In Ezekiel 37, he tells his people in Israel, I will pull you out of your graves, O Israel. So fear not. You cannot fear. You cannot hit the panic button. You have to remember who your God is. You have to remember who's in control of the universe. Please. There's no demon in hell, no devil in hell that can outrank God. God created all of that. The creator is always mightier than the createe. Trust in God. Be encouraged. Your help is in the name of the Lord. Your deliverance is in the name of the Lord. He will work. He will do it. He has promised. He will carry out his promise. He who has begun a good work in you, and he has begun a good work, will perform it. He will complete it. And then one day you hear him say, your warfare is accomplished, which means war over. Peace time. 
Time for your blessings. Time for your rewards. For trusting him rather than blaming him. God bless you now. You be encouraged and know that he loves you way more than anybody has ever loved you or, or than you have ever loved anybody else or you love yourself. God loves you. His love, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. God bless you.